Okay, so I just want to say this right now. Um, well, par- partially because it's on my mind right now, but also partially because I feel like someone needs to explain this the way that someone treats you is actually a reflection of them it isn't a reflection of you so we have this all these concepts in like society that like oh what you heard about like some story that you heard from someone else okay and the way that they told the story is the truth there's this idea of that like, oh, um, she did this, and then she did this, and that's so embarrassing. Oh, my God. And then this happened, and oh, my God. And then other people have all these conceptions about, like, the meaning that they personally apply to something is the same meaning that we all have. So, like, the biggest thing for me, at least, this comes up when, when I hear some men, it isn't all men, but some men talk about sex. They talk about it like, it's this sense, like, don't get me wrong. I understand when I was, like, younger and I just didn't know as much. I was really naive about the world. And I just hadn't done anything. Like, I just literally did not have any life experience. So in my mind, every single thing was scary because I just hadn't done anything before. Like, all dudes were scary because I was like, oh, my God. Like, I have, I don't know what guys are like. They could be dangerous. They actually are dangerous. But you know what I mean? Like they could be all of these things. And so I was like, eh, I'm so afraid of them. And rightfully so. Like it makes sense. But then it's like after you get a little bit older. uh, As you get a little bit older and you start to like understand more about the world, you're kind of like, okay, like things aren't that bad. People like aren't that scary. Like it's fine. And then you kind of like move on, right? Okay. But we have to go back for a second because like, at least for me, I see this a lot in like racialization and this like class distinction sort of thing that people are trying to make. Like, let me give you an example. And this was actually an example that my therapist gave me and it contextualized a lot for me. So what is a boat to someone? No, what is, yes. What is a boat to someone who doesn't know what water is? Like, okay, what is, um, what is an Araya to a person who doesn't know what Clueless is? Let me contextualize that even more. Clueless is a movie about fashion. If you're a girl and you're really into fashion, you obviously have seen the movie Clueless, but also you like understand that like Araya was a really famous designer. The dress, an Araya dress is very expensive. In the movie um, Clueless, um, Cher gets robbed at gunpoint and the robber tells her to, to drop to the floor, right? So then he asks her to get on the ground in her Araya dress and she does And she's crying and she's not crying because he asked her to get on the ground or because he was holding a gun. She was crying because like she's going to have to replace that Araya dress, which is really expensive. And she's going to have to beg her dad for the money to replace the dress. That's why she was crying. Other people in that situation would be crying because they would be like afraid for their lives. She actually wasn't really afraid for her life. She was afraid of having to ask her dad for the money to replace the dress. So it's a it's like a it's a perspective shift. Like I've been around a lot of people. That's another weird thing about like poor people is like they literally will see something expensive and they won't have any concept of the fact that it's expensive. And so they just see shiny shit and they're like, this is expensive. And it's like all of the expensive shit is actually not shiny except for diamonds but there are other precious metals besides diamonds (laughs) i just or when people talk about health like they always think they know what health looks like like health health does have a look like symmetry you know like complexion having a clear complexion being an appropriate size, being well-developed for whatever your height and weight are. Those are all indicators of health, yes. 
But they're like other indicators of health as well. And so health records are a thing. And <laughs> yes, if you actually want to understand someone's health, just ask them to see their health record. I don't even, that's what you should do. You shouldn't, you can't really assume shit by just looking at someone being like, oh, this is, it's like, yeah, no. The point there is that like everything is not what it seems. Some things look like something and they could actually be something else. The only way to really get down to the bottom of it is just to talk to the person. That's it. Just talk to the person. And the thing that's so exhausting, so I was in training, right? And my manager was like talking about how, what did he say? He was like, there's this perception of something. And then if the experience doesn't match the perception, then it's no longer like something diminishes in quality. And I have to disagree with that completely because like, think about this. If you go to the Tiffany store, like I was looking at Tiffany watches the other day and a Tiffany watch costs about $20,000. That was like the average price of the watch today. So if I buy a Tiffany watch and then I go hiking and I like fall down a cliff and I break the watch, um, the fact of the matter is it's still a Tiffany watch and its value is still the same. Even though I did something shitty, like I should have been more careful with my really expensive thing. Um, I wasn't, but it still is worth, like when I file an insurance claim on that watch, I'm still going to get the $20,000. So maybe if I was more careful, that's a word we could use here, then I would like, you know, not be as flamboyant with my watch. I would be more pragmatic and try to take better, go slower with my, you know what I mean? I do all these things to try to ensure that like I am being more careful with my watch. But at the end of the day, my watch is still a Tiffany watch and it still holds its value. Um, that's the same thing with women. And I feel like that's something that is like so confusing to me. And it's been, it's been a confusing thing to me for a while, a, a, a really long time actually, because it's the way I see men walk around society. It's like ugly men. Like the way I hear the Nashville people talk about this, like country, this country singer, like Maureen something. It's like, I look at this dude and he's like so unattractive. Like he's like a very ugly dude. And then he made a song with some other ugly black rapper. And we're all supposed to just be like, yay, this is great. And I'm like, I no, it's not great to me. I'm not a fan. I'm not impressed. (laughs) like I actually don't really have more to say than that like that's what I have to say about that right like I'm I'm not impressed this was not I didn't like it just because you like there it seems like there are white girls all over this town who are like head over heels for this weird ass white dude. They really like him. They are like, he's so great. And I just look and I'm like, yeah, he's not. He's not. I don't know. Another thing, he's like not attractive. He's not talented. Like I'm I'm not seeing it, right? But nevertheless, he has millions of views on YouTube, a whole town that seems to support him, so... It doesn't really matter what I think or what I feel. It just doesn't matter. 
the point that I'm trying to say is that just because you get buy-in or you have hundreds of thousands of followers or you, whatever it is that you do that makes you feel so special, um, everyone else does not have to believe you're special. Everyone else is not going to believe that you're special. And it just takes nothing away from your own value. Like you have your own personal value. And you just have to sit with your shit every day and then decide whether you're going to value yourself. Like every single day. Some days you might be like, I don't value myself. And you can act accordingly. Some days you can be like, I do value myself. And then you can act accordingly. Whatever it is that you feel, that's the way that you can walk out into the world. But the way that someone else treats you is not a reflection of you at all. It's a direct reflection of them. And that goes for everyone. So the people who show you respect, they show you respect because they respect themselves. The people who do not show you respect are not showing you respect because they don't respect themselves. It has nothing to do with you. And you have to get really clear about that. Like if you have a bad day and you do something shitty, that doesn't mean that for your whole life you are now a shitty person and you only are capable of doing shitty things. It means that one day you did something shitty. Own that and realize all of the other days that you did not do something shitty. Like that. That is real. That is real. Man. So, yeah. I just had to say that because, man, that's just... I think it's something to think about. You should think about that. I'm going to think about that more. It's like a complex topic, okay? No, really. It's like, it's it's a complex topic. Like, you don't... Man.